M0 FXB. So I've had some problems with the uh, microphone input for Icon 7 300 on FT8. It just wasn't detecting any signal at all. Now, if you look here, it's now detecting it. You can see that green going up and all the stations coming in. It wasn't coming in at all. So I uninstalled the driver, reinstalled the ICOM USB driver, which is on the ICOM page, as you can see. Let's go to this place. And then it still wasn't working. So then I just went, I'm on Windows 10. I just went to um, open sound settings. And at the time it wasn't listed. It just it said no input device. So all I did was hit the troubleshoot button and it fixed it and it said that my USB device wasn't enabled. Now to me I thought I'd enabled it, but it's worth double checking. So once I troubleshoot it, it fixed it, but then it still didn't work until I restarted Windows Windows 10. Once I restarted it, then I um I had all the signals coming in. So now if I want to transmit, I'll just click enable here. Just switch over to the 7300, which I I'll set it on about 20 watts. Uh, the next thing is just to get the outcry. And I tend to set that just upping the power on 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 here. So I tend to just click the up arrow. You can click tune if you're, if you're in a rush, or you can just wait for the next transmit. So if I hit tune, and then I'll keep hitting the up. Uh, you can't, well, you have to put the, the mouse over power. Keep hitting the up. You can hear me pushing it until I see it register on the, um, on the alk meter on my 7 pre I'm just Rushing it up. I'm just uh, going to play and then come back to you. Right, so I wasn't getting an ALK reading. You, d you need at least an ALK with one little dash where it says ALK. So I went into the menu settings and I've changed the settings to... I'll show you them here. It's a bit glary. That's the menu settings on the first page. Actually, let's go to the top, it's easier. Right, there's the first page. Hi there. There's the second page. The mic ACC was the important one. And on the third page, USB was very important. got my board rate on 9600 but that can vary so that's my settings hit the tune button on FT8 and you can see now there's a little blue line here and you alter that up and down by moving the slider the power slider on the FT8 which is there on your right and you can change the power on the radio and so now um, I'll do an, uh, let's see some con a contact on FT8. These are my settings on FT8. Let's have a good look. And on the audio, you've got to select <laughs> these two. And obviously make sure you download the driver before you connect the radio. Right, we, um, we have a contact. So it's gone red, as you can see. Um, we're just letting it cycle through. There's all the trails. You can change the settings here. But anyway, you can see there's a contact. So as it gets to the end of the green bar, it will just reply. And you can see there, the, it's finished all the, the list of replies. It's got to the end. There's all the details of the contact I've just had. You click OK. Then you go back and just click Enable TX and it will just do it again. 
Uh, it's, and then the program I like is called Grid Tracker, which is this one here. You can download that. And it's, it's pretty nifty because it gives you a live map of what's going on. Go to, to where I am. You start to get a feel for your antenna. So let's do a full screen on it again. So, you know, you can see that I'm mainly Europe, Portugal, up to Norway and across to, to Russia. But the longer you leave it, the better it gets. So, but you get a feel for your antenna. So if you've got a really good antenna set up, it's going to show up on this. M0FXB, hope this is fun. 7-3. In this section, I tend to look for a gap in all the trails. I right click and I set TX offset the same. There are some other tricks to this. You can change things here, but that's for more advanced. To do auto transmit, you just select enable TX and then it will automatically start CQing. It will start from the bottom of the list here and it will keep securing until someone clicks on your call sign at their end, at, on their thing here, and as soon as they click, it will go red and that's a contact. And then it will cycle through this list here automatically. You can see what it says. And at the end of it, a square window will appear with a log that you can save um, of each contact you make. In this section, I tend to look for a gap in all the trails. I right click and I set TX offset the same. There are some other tricks to this. You can change things here, but that's for more advanced. Right, we, um, we have a contact, so it's gone red, as you can see. Um, we're just letting it cycle through. There's all the trails. You can change the settings here. But anyway, you can see there's a contact. So as it gets to the end of the green bar, it will just reply. And you can see there, the, it's finished all the, the list of replies. It's got to the end. There's all the details of the contact I've just had. You click OK. Then you go back and just click Enable TX and it will just do it again. Uh, it's, and then the program I like is called Grid Tracker, which is this one here. You can download that. And it's, it's pretty nifty because it gives you a live map of what's going on. Go to, to where I am. You start to get a feel for your antenna. So let's do a full screen on it again. So, you know, you can see that I'm mainly Europe, Portugal, up to Norway and across to, to Russia. But the longer you leave it, the better it gets. So, but you get a feel for your antenna. So if you've got a really good antenna set up, it's going to show up on this. M0FXB, hope this is fun. 7-3.